God doesn't say, walk behind me. God doesn't even say, walk beside me. Because there's a possibility in walking beside God that I can get distracted and go in a direction that keeps me from being where I'm supposed to be. God did not say, walk behind me. God did not say, I want you to walk next to me because you can walk next to a person and become distracted by something else. You've got to understand that the Bible likens the church to sheep and he declares that there are sheep that go astray. A sheep never intends to go astray but they see something on the other side of the fence that looks a little bit better and they nibble their way into lostness. There are people that are lost today that started out next to God but they didn't keep up with God's pace and they were not in God's order. God did not say walk behind me. He didn't say walk beside me. He said walk before me. Why? If I am before God and I'm going too quick, God can pull me back and say, big boy, you better slow down. If I turned to look over to one direction, God can say, get back where you need to be. If I'm walking before me, he sees what's coming down the road before I do. So he speaks in my ear and said, it's time to stop and wait upon God. God sent somebody here today to tell you if you'll just walk before God, don't let people get between you and him. He has a way of directing your path. Paxson didn't get to where it was by boards and opinions, but it was because a pastor walked before God. It's because a son walked before God. You want to be blessed? Get in right order. Be where you're supposed to be and God will walk behind you and get your back. Give the Lord a hand clap if you love him.